Hi, welcome back everybody, it's Mike Newton down here at Penrith Golf Hub. Beautiful summer's day down here and I've got a new utility iron to review for you today and it's the Cobra King Utility. So we saw an introduction of the Forge Tech irons from Cobra and this is very looks to be a very nice sort of complement to those irons, obviously in a utility. So hollow construction, a little bit more of a chunkier head, a great option for maybe off the tee sort of club, you know, try and get that bit more of a wing control um, sort of ball flight when you're out on that golf course. So we're going to test it, we've got Trapman on the floor as always, we're going to provide you with some data and obviously my personal feedbacks on the looks and performance of this particular club. Okay, so just before we jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, you've not watched any of my content before, then welcome. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also ring that bell so you get notifications of any future videos. As soon as they land on the channel, you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it. Also hook up on my social media platforms, both Instagram and Twitter, and handles there are at MNGolfCoach. So classic looks with a modern technology. That's what Cobra saying this new King utility is all about. And I probably agree with them in terms of the looks. You're putting that down by the golf ball. Bearing in mind, this is a utility iron. We always tend to see that slightly chunkier top line there. Um, but it is a great looking club. The way the leading edge sort of sits, the, the size of the head from the heel to toe isn't massive. It's, it's, it's enough there to give you a little bit of confidence without being over empowering. Tiny bit of offset there and you just see a tiny bit of that back edge just sticking out but nothing that really distracts your eye from the actual club or the ball itself. So first impressions sits really nice behind that golf ball. So we're going to get this first one hit and we'll see, we'll talk a little bit about the technology in a minute. I'm interested to sort of get this first one out. So this is a three iron that I've got which is a 19.5 degree. Okay, that's not a bad opening one. Just leaking a little bit of that right hand side actually, but launched very easily and felt really good. Two, five, three carry, really good sort of carry number there. So I always expect this sort of utility sort of iron to be quite powerful. They're always generally quite hot off the club face. It's that hollow head. It's, it's unsupported behind that club face. So again, it helps with that ball speed. Miss maybe a little bit of that trampoline effect obviously within legal limitations there. Um, but this is a forged, uh, face which is actually wrapped around in, into the sole section of the, of the club here so again that's maybe helping with, with ball speeds and forgiveness but also probably on those low in the face strikes there's no weld line at the bottom of the of the club face um, in, in terms of that you know when there's the hollow head they weld the face separate to the body but this actually wraps under so it helps to probably keep that ball speed up on those low hits. But a nice opening uh, shot there. It does sit lovely behind the golf ball. I like the look of that. It's that satin finish. There's no polished sections in here. As I say, it just complements the, the forged tech iron really, really nicely. All right, so that was a bit of a toe strike. Testing the forgiveness there. That's flown very straight. Still got up and away. I'm guessing that's going to drop a bit of distance there because that was quite toey. So two, three, seven. They have dropped a little bit, but I, you know, it's one of those you'd take that on the golf course, it's straight. Okay, I've lost a little bit of yardage, but it's found the fairway. So this is a three iron that I've got here, which is coming in at 19.5 degrees, but it is adjustable. So there is a lot of alterations, uh, which we're gonna to come to a little bit later on in this particular video, where you can move loft up or down and also make it to slight draw biased. Oh, I struck that one well. Fracture up the left, but I've struck that really well. Beautiful flight on there. No issues at all getting that up in the air. That's a long hit, two, five, seven. We always know that slightly pulley one will always go that little bit, little bit further. Really good, really strong. Feels very easy to hit. I would say it's a very forgiving golf club. Ball speed looks really healthy as well. Okay, that's a little bit low in the face, but again, it's up and away. So we've got a tungsten weight in the sole of these uh, utility irons. So tungsten heavy material, pulling the center of gravity lower, which obviously helps to launch the golf ball. And that's probably a good example there. It was quite a, a clean bottom groove sort of hit. We always know we're gonna lose a certain amount of ball speed there, but it's, it's recovering, isn't it? It's, it's always trying to get that ball up. And it did that flat, still flighted, pretty decent height. Uh, I know I've not middled it but it's still got up and away and got a reasonable distance there. 
Okay, so adjustability wise, just unscrewed the neck sleeve there, obviously takes the shaft out and you've got quite a few different options here, which whichever you present in the back, in that window in the back of the hosel, is gonna play it at that particular loss. So standard will play it at the 19.5, which is stamped on it. And then you've got uh, options to go up one degree, up point, 1.5 degrees you then can come down one degree and also down 1.5 so this 19.5 in a three iron can move down to 18 degree which is more like a two iron but can also move up to uh, 21 degrees you then also got some drawer options there so plus a degree and minus a degree in a drawer option as well as a standard draw also so what i'm going to do here because i'm always a bit have a soft spot for a two iron i'm going to reduce the loft by 1.5 degrees so this is going to now play at 18 degrees, more of a two iron option. We'll see if that does anything to those numbers. Okay, so I've just given this a new name on the Trapman here, 18 degrees. Does that look any different address? <sighs> Subtly, yeah, I can see a little bit of a straight face, but not, nothing that, that um, really is very, very different. Oh, I've hit that really well. I'll tell you what, still a fairly high ball flight there. I've hit that really well. Yeah, it's good, two, five, two. So it'd be interested to see what the launch does and the peak height does here. Obviously the strike's gonna really influence these uh, parameters as well, but I think, um, you know, that still launch is pretty high there. Again, not the perfect of strikes, but hasn't altered the fly to the ball, how it's come out, touch up that left-hand side there. 250 carry gets really really good numbers so obviously there's a lot of custom options here with shafts and grips and um, obviously with the cobra as they have done for a long time now comes with the arcos connect or as standard in the grip so that's a great little feature that you can sort of take advantage of as i say these come in a two a three and a four two iron as far as i know is custom uh, order only and available right hand only um, for left handers both the three and the four are available and same as for for the right handers also again good flight a little bit more piercing on that particular shot really nice flight there a little bit more consistent on these last three shots there obviously the loss not changing that's just uh, Probably because in my mind, I know I've got a two iron in my hand and I'm always a bit partial to a two iron. Oh, that's lovely, lovely. Quite impressed with that. Very easy to pick up and away. Um, feels pretty forgiving. Last three shots there with that 18 degree, just performing on a dispersion side of things a little bit better than that front to back especially so let's go and look at some numbers a little bit more detail and see how that king utility is performing okay so if you have a quick look at the um sort of side on view of the ball flight here so we've got the uh the, the three iron set at 19.5 you can see the ball flights there you see the difference from that up to lower flight you can see the ones where it just didn't quite catch maybe a little bit lower in the club face just loses that little bit of of uh, carry distance there. And then we'll just flick this into the yellow flights here, which is the two iron at 18 degree. You see a little bit more consistent, more so through the strike more than anything really, but um, not a huge difference maybe between those two ball flights, a couple of slightly higher ones there with that three, which did get, um, but um, not a huge change of flight there as you might sort of expect from those um, two different lofts. And then when we look at the the averages between those two clubs, so utility three, which was a 19 and a half, and so then dropping it into that 18, four shots with each. So we see clubhead speed, as you expect, is not gonna change. Ball speeds just increase a little bit with that slightly straighter club face there. Um, as you Again, as you would sort of expect, really, strikes were a little bit better as well. It's fraction low on that launch, the 11.7 against 12.4 on average. Spin identical at 3, 2, and you can see carry just a smidge further at 253, which is really healthy. Good sort of smash there at 146 and even at 149. There. And looking at the peak height, and this is probably just looking at that side on view there as well, both averaged at 83 feet. So even though they launched a little bit lower, obviously with the ball speed a little bit quicker with the two iron, it still reached the same sort of height uh, through its actual flight. Okay, everybody, so there we go. There's the King Utility uh, iron. So available two, three, and four. I think it's um, it's a good looking iron. As I say, it complements the 
the forged tech iron uh, perfectly there. You know, it's a similar sort of shape, so it makes sense if you've got some of those irons there, how you would be possibly introducing this. If you're not a hybrid sort of golfer, then you these would easily sort of blend into that particular set, so you're not seeing a huge difference of maybe that look. Obviously, with the util sign, you are going to see that slightly chunkier look there. Um, so some good features in there. Obviously, you've got the Arcos there, which is a nice uh, sort of touch there as an additional there you've got some adjustability with that loft so if it's a windy day you could even be dropping that loft down like i did or you might even add in a little bit of loft again depending on your sort of club delivery and that's always goes down to the, the importance of going and get fit you know get some numbers on a, on a track man or some form of launch monitor and see how you get that ball flying out you know some guys naturally hit it very high some are very very sort of low so obviously each club is adjustable to really fine tune and dial into your pacifics of, of delivery okay Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, give it a share around. Post comments down below with King Utility. Have you got one of these in the bag? Love to hear your thoughts if how you're getting on with it and why you put it in the back or in the bag also. Love to hear your thoughts. So do post them in the comment section down below. And hopefully it will catch up with you all very soon.